Isn't that beautiful? I'll show you where we are in a minute. I figured, I was up here anyway, so I figured I'd uh, stop by a park, hear some birds, look at some leaves, walk in some grass, <sighs> before the ne'er-do-wells take over. There's some beautiful parks here in Vegas, but I call them seasonal parks. Like, these will be packed when it's 110. <laughs> I don't know why, but... Right now, it's just so peaceful, other than the planes going over. Can you hear the birds? Wait, wait till this plane goes over. Yeah, here's the other view. Check this out. Got my coffee. What is the name of this park? The Rainbow Park? The Rainbow Family Park or something like that? I don't know. I had to come up here anyway, so I figured I'd just chill. Yeah. Feel chill. <laughs> Look, it looks like a green, right? But it's not a, that nice, you know. I'll show you around. I just felt like decompressing and unwinding. So let's do that before we jump in the car and go do our stuff. So let me pull up. I'm using my, my outside in the wilderness uh, voice. <laughs> all right let's pull up all messages see who's here 64 people that's pretty awesome Val I just saw that I saw that a couple seconds ago you upgraded to the highest tier Bro Nation board member you are a board member and I do appreciate that I'll send you a message later all right let's say hello to Janice Tom Mac Jim yeah this is like this is like true outside should I do some AMSR? Yeah. Joe Q, Janice Q, Sony, <clears throat> Venus, Missy Vegas. Yeah, three weeks, right? That's exciting. <laughs> I can't wait. Who else is here? Do do do. I'm scrolling. Mary Leathers, Angie, Century. What's up, Century? Dan. Jim Wolf, it's a little bit windy, but I don't think it's going to be that bad. We're going to be in the car soon anyway. Kyle, what's up? Bert, Maria, Kevin. Oh, now it's been just when I said something that picked up. Great, what's happening? Aaron, yeah, three weeks of the Broad Nation get together. That's totally exciting. And welcome to. I was trying to think. Of like a really clever uh, April Fool's joke. Like, guess what, everyone? I quit. <laughs> or something. But I think we're living in perpetual April Fool's Day. Like, every day I look at the news or I read something. I'm like, this got to be April Fool's Day. <laughs> you know? So I couldn't think of anything that could top what's currently taking place in the news if you know what i'm saying so we'll just forego the whole uh uh what do you call it? april fool shenanigans yeah spring is in vegas it is 68 degrees exactly when i got out of the car so it is it's gorgeous it was really 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 uh blue blue skies but there's some clouds blowing in it was supposed to be um severe thunder showers all day like stay inside you might die level stuff but not really haven't even been hit by a piece of rain or nothing but let's go walk around this park a little then we'll hop in the car then we'll go do some driving and some talking and whatever yeah it's sad frustrating it we're living in a it's dystopian i think i mean i every day i'm just like what really <laughs> like every day is april fool's day you know, like Sade always said, treat every day like Christmas and every night like New Year's Eve. She didn't say anything about treating every day like it's frickin' April Fool's. But that's the world we live in now. And no one's going, April Fool's got gotcha. you. <laughs> it's just a real deal. But check it out. We're outside. Grasp that beauty for a second. Alright, so before we get going... Walking around the park, jumping in the car, all that other good stuff. I'm going to invite everyone who's not subscribed to subscribe, like, share, and hit that bell button to get notified when I do this again, which is at least five times a week. And if you want to support the channel, 
I got the links. Check me out at my own platform, which is heybrofrederick.com. Over there, we can talk about all the things that we cannot talk about here. You know what I'm saying? So go check me out over there. And for those of you who haven't noticed, I put up uh, a live stream notification for tomorrow. And I got, got that. I got, I got all this stuff and whatever. I got all the links. All that helps support me, a.k.a. the channel. Keeps the channel going. Yeah, more goes to the channel than it does to me, but it does help, and I do appreciate it. And thank you, because your generosity that keeps the channel going. Super Chats are the grease that keeps the wheels rolling, and this jackass decided to pop his freaking... I can't stand this guy anymore. He decided to pop his head in after six minutes. Ah, <sighs> you don't. What's, what's the guy's name? Why, why is he always on my phone? I don't want him on my phone. <sighs> All right, let's go walk around this park. Forgive the wind. There is a little wind activities. I'm going to stick this in my pocket for a second. Because I can't carry everything at the same time. I need my coffee. So, yeah, love you guys. Breathe deep. <sighs> you know the instant. I, I don't even know if I, I don't know what I can say or what I can't say. I was going to teach you an instant way to lower your blood pressure. But, I think, hey, don't. I think white tea might have a problem with it. Well, five seconds in, five seconds out. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. For a total of six breaths, and your blood pressure just goes... <laughs> If you have low pressure, that's a big story, but yeah, that's how you do it. That's how I do it when I'm like all like. What are you doing with my. What are you, what are you making National Transmission Day on Easter? Seriously? I don't want to celebrate transmissions. Then I go. It's all better. Oh, and this is a bridge, by the way. Bridge over the, I don't know, River Kwai or something. It's like four feet. Maybe this floods, or is it? Maybe it's just aesthetical. It's aesthetically pleasing. There's a ballpark with a bunch of invasive species in it. See, they do keep it, you know, except for the bathrooms, but, you know, but what do you expect? They're freaking skanked. But they're all invasive species. You can pop them if you want. But look at the sky. It was all like that. Blue, 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 blue. But there's these clouds rolling in. This is actually one of our sewers, believe it or not, because we don't have true sewers. We got like these, what I used to call back in the, back in the day, back in the neighborhood, we used to call them gullies. You guys still call them gullies? Look, look, they, they, they spare like no expense. You could have like night games here and shit. You got your bike and running past. They're all over town. They're beautiful and they're all over town. But, like I said, I just give up. You know, once it gets hot, it's like, yeah, right. <laughs> check out these, check out this house right here. Check out the houses in this area. This is an older section of Vegas, maybe 80s. Probably when this house was built, maybe it went for like 279 I bet it's like well over a million and a half now. It's just a frickin' mansion. Or a Mick mansion. Clouds look awesome on the wide angle. I love it. What is this for? It's the authorized donut section. You can do donuts. Look at that house. That's beautiful. Very similar to one I used to have out west. Mine was not as big as that one, though. I don't know what this is for, but it's so peaceful. It's so beautiful. It's a 
another ball field over there, bleachers, lights, the whole nine yards. I'm a shot of wedding in here a while back. I'm glad I well, I hate shooting. I've only done a few in my life. And I regret every single one of them. There's another ball field. Now we're walking into the wind a little bit. There's some more invasive species. What up, sky rats? Oh, there's another thing you can do in any Las Vegas park. You can turn a tree into a memorial. I guess you can do that just about anywhere. But I never saw it until I came to Vegas that it was a thing per se. inside my house <laughs> it's it, your feet sink like it's rubber with some type of ground up shit on it that's so comfortable and soft look how nice this is it's all new at least the tax dollars go to something remove your helmets blah 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 and they do put a little shade over it Yeah, your kids playing, that's cool. What the heck is that for? What is that? Help the young ones learn how to tell time or something? And dolphins is looking pretty shabby. In the summer, these things used to spout water, but they're pretty beat up now. There are a couple like in town. Wow, it's a fat bird. What a fat bird. Swings are cool. I still like playing on swings. Look at this tree. A little seating there. Now it looks like it's gonna, <laughs> something's going to happen. Wow, that's a beautiful tree. And what kind of tree that is? She was an MD. Born in 82? Wow. She died young. MD. Doctor, take thy own medicine. This is to prevent massive foul balls. I used to come out here and hit golf balls. Until they told me to stop. Duh. They take good care of it though. Well, if you were a parent, who would you see from back here? Nothing. What is that? I'll tell you a story about what happened up here. It's a story, a lovely lady. What? Who? Who's bringing out three something something somethings? There were four dudes living all together. And they became something something. And one day Greg checked out Marsha. And he knew there was much more than a hunch. He would sneak her up into the attic, and that's the way they became Brady Bunch. The Brady Bunch. And of course, that bathroom's a lot, you know, it's skivots, but it is what it is. Alright, I'll tell you a story. There was this dude 
right here at these monkey bar things. Uh, teaching like self-defense to women. And he was teaching them that. Uh, like he was swinging a stick at them. And he was telling them like how to defend against someone swiping at their head with a stick. Nice stick, like a baton. And he was telling them they had, they had to put their arm up, their forearm to block it. And then make these couple of magical moves and sweep the guy and get him in a chokehold and all this other bullshit. And I stood here for a few minutes. You're doing is so freaking irresponsible. And he's like, what are you talking about? You know, because he was embarrassed because he had all the, you know, the women in their yoga pants and stuff. I was like, yeah, you know, that, that's messed up what you're doing. And he's like, dude, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. I'm like, all right, dude, how about this? You do your technique against me. I said, give me the baton and show them exactly how it works. Oh, sage. That's some good cookery right there. I would cook with the sage. Oh, he's gonna make all the gains with some rubber. Titi. <laughs> oh, wow, that's beautiful. So he couldn't say no, because all the, uh, the yoga pants moms were there. So he's like, all right. And he's like, not too fast because, you know, I, I need to show them exactly how it works. And, you know, don't get pissed at me if you get hurt. <laughs> and I'm like, bro, are you serious? And, you know, I'm like, all right, give me the baton. And I proceeded to freaking wail on him. And he just cuddled up in a freaking ball in a fetal position, you know. And that was the end of his class. I just couldn't bear to watch it. I mean, I beat the hell out of him, but I did what he was showing them to do. You know, I swung at a reasonable pace overhand. What is that? And let him block it with his forearm. <laughs> it was the funniest shit ever. You just heard this thing go crack. And he's like, oh. I'm like, dude. And you expect women to take a baton to the forearm and you can't? I was like, dude, I can't, let alone you. <sighs> you get out the frickin' way of it and you run. That's how you deal with that. <sighs> yeah, so I think that was the end of his uh, martial arts career, at least with the, the yoga moms who were buying into his bullshit. Good memories, good times. This area is available by reservation only. If it has not been reserved, it's first come, first serve. So in essence, you don't need a reservation. Unless you get one. Ooh. Grill us some freaking T-bones up in here. Is it working? Oh shit! <laughs> no way! No way! I'm freaking surprised. Uh, birds, you want some water? I'll leave it running for you. Even though I can't stand this, I love you for a little while. Some water yolk. There you go. There you go. I'm a good human. Wow, someone's doing a barbecue right on this thing. <laughs> Jack the F up. <sighs> Let's hang out here and appreciate the little beauty for a second. <sighs> well, I wouldn't say beauty. I would call it nature. Let me catch up on chat activities. Da -da -da -da. Plunk. <laughs> Let's get the phone out. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get to moving in a minute. It's like way windy over here. So that is a Vegas park. What a bird. I put some water out for you over there. 
I know. Baby, baby sky rats are being born like there's no tomorrow right now. They all hatcherized. <sighs> all right, let's see what else here. Just look at the weather again that says baseball size hail. Yeah, if you want. <laughs> you know, and he was—he couldn't say no. That's why. That's why I called him out. You know, because guys have a hard problem. You know, saying no to dumb shit like that when women are watching. You know, so everything was on the line. But he was seriously like telling them to. He was swinging down with a baton like this, and he was telling them to go hiya, <laughs> and catching on the forearm. Uh, and I was like, all right, you can do that, I suppose. Let's show them. And I just, and not even that hard. I mean, because any kind of tap, unless you, I mean, I've trained my arms, but no, you, you deflect. You do one of these, if you can, or you run the fuck away. Hiya! <laughs> and he was just like, I just saw his eyes just well up and tears started coming down and he was just like oh. and then I hit, I hit him in the butt a few times like that. I spanked him and I was just like go away and I was like ladies get a CCW fuck all this nonsense oh I forgot I'm not on my own platform screw all this nonsense a lot of baby deer oh that's cute he was like, no. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I had to do it. I had to do it. You know, I just thought that was so negligent. It was almost like malfeasance. The, the whole self-defense, I mean, I'm sorry, ladies, but the whole ladies' self-defense thing is almost, uh, mal, I wouldn't, not malfeasance, that's not, malpractice is the word. Anyone saying it, because, I mean, they're pushing it on TV, and it's so irresponsible to tell women that, you know, they could block punches from linebackers. I mean, I can't. How's a woman gonna, you know? I get the hell out of the way. I grab a garbage pail, you know? I grab a garbage pail lid and use it as a shield. You know, I grab my coffee mug and try to hit him in the freaking head. I mean, I'm not gonna sit there and go, hiya, <laughs> with anyone that's bigger than me. <sighs> that's life. Yeah, both the Eclipse and CERN. Like, why would they fire up CERN? Same time as the Eclipse. Are they trying to stop it? Are they trying to open, like, a portal, portal to hell or something? <clears throat> because, you know, they do do rituals at CERN for him. <laughs> but we can't talk about that here. Think my shirt is cool? Yeah. <sighs> Not all angels play the harp. Is that a cool shirt? Yeah. Not all angels play the harp. That's all I gotta say. Alright. Looks like we got good connection today. So you ready to hop in the car? I got another commercial. Am, am I the sucker now? Now I'm the whipping boy for commercials? I just got another one. That's two. All right, let's count them. What is this for? Formula something. Ooh, 20% stronger than over-the-counter face moisturizers. <laughs> AYT, stop putting links in my description. All right, you ready? Let's go do this. Let's go get the car. Car, here. Here, boy. Alright, I'm gonna put away my other phone for a second. We will hop in the vehicle. Do I gotta pee? Should I take in that ski bot's bathroom? No, I'm good. Where the hell are my keys? Alright, there we go. Yeah, look, check out the birds. The birds are cool. They're just chilling. Uh oh. Ready to play them some ball. Do, 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 do. Right, 
I'm gonna take this off the gimbal. I should have done that already. Hold on a second. I gotta take you off the gimbal and prepare to put you in the car mount. Give me one second to accomplish said task. Don't go anywhere. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's cool. Oh, I always forget. Close the top of my coffee. I just. Ugh. I just spilled it all over myself. Hope I got some moist towelettes somewhere. Oh man, it's, it's everywhere. <laughs> moist. He said moist. Alright, you ready? Let's go. Ugh. It's gonna stink like it's gonna. Ugh. As much as I love coffee, when you spill it on yourself and it dries, it smells like cat pee. All right, you ready? Let's do this. Let me take you off gimbal activities. Uh-oh. <laughs> I was jamming. I was doing all the job. Oh, it already smells like cat pee. <sighs> Let me find that. Ugh. Joe went to the other side of the cockpit. Wow, this shirt is ruined. Nah. Tide will get that shit out. People showing up like freaks now. Freaks. Let me get situated here. I just wired some long USB cables into the vehicle so I could plug in all my electronicals up here. Engage seatbelt. Engage coffee. Brought an umbrella, but that was not necessary. All right, you ready? Where the hell are we? We are on, we're somewhere, I think Sahara. You feel all the love, Trisha, what's going on? I sent you some love too. For whom the bell tolls. Time marches on. All right, that looks good. For whom the bell tolls. And this park is like right in people's backyard. That's the only downside. So you gotta listen to shit. But the, these houses here are like 5,000 square feet plus. All the ones that back up to this place. And as you know, I can only check. I mean, they do put, uh, they close this to traffic, but there's nothing to stop people from going in there at night. You know, I would never go in one of these parks at night. I mean, I would, but I wouldn't recommend going in one of these parks at night. Like, see that house we just passed? I mean, that's got a casita, a uh, little guest house, the whole bit. This is, uh, what is this? This is Oki. This is Oki. We just passed a temple. Bike lanes. 
houses everywhere around here. I mean, at one time, I mean, this still is a decent neighborhood. It's just getting old. At one time, this was like, you know, fancy schmancy. You know, for them to put like a dead me, I freaking mold broken glass into the top. But this is me. Here's another park. This is Fireman's Field. It's all downhill. I'm not even touching the gas and we're booking. Well, we're not booking, but we're moving. <clears throat> you get like 10 miles to the gallon going up. 50 coming down. What is that? Tory Pine something or other? That's uh, the Magic Forest where they do Christmas all the time, where that tree got destroyed in the community center we just passed. And this, this section's a little bit older. This is probably 70s. And you can see by the little houses. Look at every single one of them's got bars on it. You're gonna get jacked. Jacked the F up. Old apartment complexes. Oh, that coffee's already smelled cat pee ish. Yuck. Should we take Oki all the way? Yeah, let's take, we've never taken this road, I don't think. Oki. It's an Oki and Joan. That's a, we, on the left was a uh, psychological hospital. I don't know why a hospital. They do lobotomies over there or something. I don't know. Frontal lobotomies. That's your old neighborhood? I mean, this is a nice area. I mean, I would definitely put bars up and, you know, claymores and stuff, but. Yeah, it's still nice. And for whom the bell tolls. I can only got 72 people. 78 people. Really? Okay. I'm gonna try to miss no super chat activities. Nope. Alright, we'll do a little driving. Looks like we got good connection today. Which I could just blast music. It's good road trip music. Where'd we go last time? Do we go to the airport now? We ain't going to the airport again. Let's see how many. I'm first to go. Let's watch how many people go through the light when it's my turn to go watch. Let's see. <clears throat> I'm waiting patiently. All right, let's go. What is that big building there? What is that? Probably a church, right? Oh, that's Mountain View. No kidding. That's where I hear like. Uh, that's like the one that's like a little... I didn't know that was there. That's the one that I heard. Cannot confirm. That it was kind of meat markety. Like that's a place if you're single. You know, you can go to mingle. Uh, meet your Christian bride. Or not. I don't know. See, now these are more like, you know, middle income homes. And at one time... No more. Now these are probably like all in the threes easily. Even though they're well, apparently, four G at five G doesn't work in Las Vegas anymore. <laughs> As soon as we cross that, all the towers towards the strip are just non-functional. 
This is 4G and I'm getting 6 megabits. What the actual F? I mean, kinda. Oh, now we're only getting two. Fantastic swap meet. This place is a shithole. Don't let anyone talk in or come in here off the strip to come see one of our local flea markets. It is a total shithole. Can confirm. Yeah, that was like, uh, it's like the house I sold it. Look, <laughs> look at this. It's got a, uh, one of the cop things in the back here. It's people whacking each other wholesale. As Harry is not good. Yeah, can confirm. Prices are escalating like a freak over here. That's a nice little building called the Alamo. I can't believe what. Nah, no, let me let me not start. I'm just happy to get connection. 4G in the house. Do you like the wide angle view? I think it looks cool. It just it makes the sky look cool anyway. Let me drink some water at this light. <laughs> So what do I have to say about, yeah, it's just, I mean, yeah, the flea markets and the thrift shops and whatever and the Goodwills, they're, they're all shitholes, you know? Unlike other places, like in Florida, you go to a Goodwill and I predict it'll probably stay like that. You know what, you know, what we were talking about the other night, uh, an older person dies, it gets left to their son or their daughter, who's also, I mean, if someone in their 80s dies, then the kids are in their 60s, they got their own place, so what do they do? They sell it, and what do they do with all the stuff that's inside, you know, they donate it, but you find cool stuff in the Goodwills, in situations like that, you know, like, nice stuff, I mean, a lot of it's like, you know, like the furniture's like straight out of the set from the Golden Girls or something, oh, Crunch. Crunch goes the cars. Look at that. T-bone activities engaged. Like, how did that even happen? Oh. What? See? The T-bone. You think T-bone steak's popular here in Vegas? Not as popular as the T-bone accident. Holy freaking cow. But here, it's not like that, you know? Stuff that gets donated is like, you know, people donate the shit that's not good enough to give away. On occasion, on a rare occasion, if I go inside one, the only thing I go looking for is uh, picture frames. Because picture frames are freaking stupid expensive. If you ever had a, a nice picture framed, you know what I'm talking about. A nice frame, like two feet by three feet, you know, portrait or landscape, eh, could run you three, four hundred bucks. So if you could find one, I don't care what the picture is inside, with the glass intact, especially if it has UV glass, you know, for ten bucks, fifteen bucks, twenty bucks, thirty bucks, it's a score. It's an absolute freaking score. Look at. Look at look see, look at that guy. See that? Did you see that? No hesitation, no breaks. Straight through the light like it wasn't even there. And look at all the cameras up there. There's cameras in both directions with red light that de uh detectors there. And nobody gives a flying F whatsoever. These are all nice houses here too, but every single one of them's got, you know, bars over the window. But here, it's just junk, you know? They're like, oh, um, you know, it won't fit in my garbage pal. I'll give it to Goodwill. I've given nice stuff to Goodwill. 
I might be getting, I might get new bedroom furniture for the spare bedroom that I'm swapping out for the studio, and I'll probably donate that, you know, it's still nice, it's almost new, it's just like, not in style anymore, not that I really care that much, but yeah, yeah, so, you rarely find anything good, seeing all the bars on the windows, Rancho Bonita Estates. They're in total lockdown mode. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, they just go through them, not even, like, hesitant. Not even, like, well, let me look and then go. They just, they look straight ahead and they continue, like, not caring. And we just witnessed that one and we witnessed an accident. Well, we didn't witness the accident, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, Mary, down in Florida, that, those are the best uh, thrift stores and Goodwills. I've gotten nice stuff, and I've given nice stuff, too. I've traded stuff. There was a Goodwill where I used to live that would let you trade stuff. They'd be like, yeah, go in and pick some other stuff. I'd be like, all right, cool. <sighs> Coffee time. So what do I want to talk about real quick? I think I'm going to keep this brief because it's only you know, showing on my end, 82 people. I don't know what that's all about, but whatever. It's their shadow, B-A-N-N-I-N-G. It's just like, hey, bro, afraid, especially since I started advertising my new platform. Now they're just really starting to kick it in. You could tell in the numbers lately on my live streams, but I don't really care, you know. Diehards find me. They're just not pushing me out to new audiences anymore. They're like, that bro Frederick started his own streaming platform at heybrofrederick.com. Damn right I did. Go check it out, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> see other people hey, they you know they could sit there and like pick their nose on a live stream and get like freaking 900 people and I got 80 I'm not saying it's the people or them and I don't begrudge that I just know that YT is just you know doing shite anyway what did I want to talk about I wanted to talk about the Tropicana, because that's where we were Saturday night, which was kind of fun. That lasted all of like a minute and a half. You know, one thing I did want to correct real quick was a lot of people called that event that happened being kicked out. I don't consider it being kicked out whatsoever. Um, being kicked out is completely different. What they said was... Um, you know, we, we don't want you live streaming in here. You know, <laughs> with the bullshit claim that, oh, if we let you do it, hundreds of people are going to come in here and live stream. I was like, bullshit. It's not a freaking hundred people on the planet who want to be in this shithole right now. But, you know, I didn't say anything. That was, you know, he had to come up with some story. But like I said, I talked to him off camera. Well, with the camera muted, and he's just like, dude... I gotta, I gotta toe the line to the very end. I do not want to lose my severance because every one of those employees got two thousand dollars per year that they worked there. And I met a cocktail waitress in that video I made, which we'll talk about in a second, the Buffalo video. Um, she was there thirty-eight years. She got seventy. Let's do the math. Seventy-six thousand dollars. $76,000 severance package. And I'm like, so what are you going to do? She's like, well, you know, it's going to be taxed. So, you know, it is what it is. Probably at a higher rate. And she says, I'm just going to chill for a little while. But I've been here 38 freaking years. It's like, yeah, okay. Um, anyway, so yeah, he, he's, he didn't want to get in trouble to the very last day. He's got two more days. Imagine getting fired. Because they told him to shut Bro Frederick down from live stream, and then he was just like, nah, he's cool. And they'd be like, you're fired, and he's been there 10 years. 
company's gonna lose twenty thousand dollars from me no not so much <laughs> you know what i'm saying and he just said you know i can't let you do that and i'm like all right whatever cool and this is jackass he, these people are gonna try to pull maneuvers it's, it's like merging and he's gonna try to go to the front and elbow his way in me i have patience but i will try to block him out if he tries to get in because <laughs> that's just me it's like no way dude so what he oh now we get to see more red light runners good times so yeah he just asked me to stop he didn't like kick me out but everyone's like oh it sucks he kicked you out he didn't kick me out I could have stayed there you know slept in a freaking chair there they don't care about that I mean some places you know, they ask me to leave if I don't want to show, you know, ID or whatever. You know, so they could freaking dox me. It's like, screw that. So, no, I am reluctant to do that. But not kicked out. Asked to stop what I'm doing. That's, that's how you would describe that. And whatever. But, you know, F Tropicana... Did I ever go to the Red Barn in Bradenton? No, I haven't. No, I have I've been to the I've been to the racetrack in Bradenton. I've been to there was a poker room there. But I've never been to the Red Barn. I'm not even sure what that is. Oh, no one ran through a light. Sick. <clears throat> Should we go downtown a little bit? Let's see it during the day. Yeah, F it. Let's go downtown. Going downtown. Do, 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 do. Downtown. Now I did. Oh, yeah, let's let's complete Tropicana. Okay, has anyone said <laughs> they're going away? Not me. Tropicana is just that was a shithole too. That was the good work in Vegas. You know, as far as I'm concerned, I know a lot of people have memories there. I'm just not one of them. I don't have a single memory. Oh, I got to put on the AC. I'm getting a, a heat warning from my phone. So let's take care of that real quick. Let me put my upper two vents and one on my feet. This is four directional over here. Let's set it at, even though it's 69, it's just, the phone's black, so the sun hits it. It's exactly 69. Let me try, that's a beautiful temperature. Let me drop it to... Let's drop it to... There we go, 67. It shouldn't be that loud. Yeah, so I went back in to the tropic like F it, you know, let me it, you know, one last time. And all I did was I was not going to make any type of investment because, and, you know, I said hello to everyone. You know, like, hey, what up? You know, that's why I spoke to the cocktail waitress who got her 76K. And, I mean, that's, that's all right. You know, even that guy, you know, like, was that, 10 years? Okay, cool. That's still 20 grand anyway you cut it. And so it's all right. Hopefully they're, you know, they'll find places to work if they choose to. No, what is that? Wow, that's a woman on the street. Freaking horrible. Man, so let's keep letting people in when we have our own problems. So anyway, so I go in there and I'm just like, let me, I'm just gonna toss a ten in here, you know. That's all I wanted to do. You know what I was actually wanting to do? I wanted to get a cup of coffee because that coffee is pretty freaking good, and they serve it in these big paper cups. So I wanted that as sort of a quasi souvenir because I wasn't buying any other crap. I'm not like. You know, all the people who bought chips, I mean, it's all cool and everything, but they're not going to be worth anything ever. Like, maybe your great-grandkids might be able to sell them for 
what you paid, <laughs> you know, minus the eBay fees, you're still going to lose money, so all you did was enrich those people, I, I don't really get it, but some people collect, I, I get collecting, I collect shit too, but I wanted a ticket, that's actually what I wanted, I was going to play down those $10, to what I always tell people don't do. I was gonna play it down to like the 19 cents and save the pristine, uh, you know, printout coupon of that. And that's what I was gonna keep as my souvenir memento. So that's what I really did. I figured that'd be worth 10 bucks, you know? Put it in a little frame or something. Um, or give it away, whatever. <sighs> so, you know, two spins, three spins in, I hit that four coin, whatever, so I'm like, uh-oh, hold on a second, Reject. Call ended. yeah, damn right that call ended, um, so I, I figured I'd put on the camera and show it and whatever. <laughs> you know, it did go up. I mean, it was four bucks just for the four coins. And then like another four dollars or what? Yeah, I think it was like four dollars in winnings. I only put, I was only bet 60 cents. But I put that video up and a few people watched it, like 10. And that's all I wanted to accomplish over there. So mission accomplished. I'm just surprised at the enormity of the the, that property. I mean, it, once all the buildings are gone, it's pretty big. It doesn't look that big. But when we walked around and left, because we didn't get kicked out, we left. You know, it was, our, it was interesting. And I might put up another video um, you know, of the place, you know, with the dark machines and all that from having walked around in there. And I might put up the original one that I did even in that one, they stopped me. They stopped me by the pool. And I was like, yeah, okay, I'll shut it off. And you know how I do. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oops, wrong button. What's this? The cat's meow? What is the cat's meow? Sounds like a, sounds like a booby spot. There's not as many uh, homeless people down here. When me and Mark came down here, there was like literally 50 to 100 just in that one area by the bus stop. It's like, I don't know what they're doing with all the uh, less fortunate. Can I hang a Yule Brenner over here? Nope. No turns. Now, this is uh, 95. This is a dangerous interstate. I do not like driving on it whatsoever. This is where most of the uh, the crashes that occur at speed happen. It's pretty freaking dangerous. I have no reason to drive this, but this circles like the whole north, like part of the west to part of the east, but it circles around the top of Vegas for the most part. But it's dangerous. I don't like driving on dangerous shit. <laughs> the drop isn't a Caesar's property. <laughs> no kidding. You deleted your oh my god, got kicked out. Yeah, I mean I understand that that's you know, like I said, I'm not like ragging on anyone, but you know, people like when it happens elsewhere, it depends. Sometimes I am there asking me to leave, you know, if I don't feel like getting a freaking cavity search, which is fine. It's their prerogative. But if they just tell me to stop what I'm doing, you know, that's that's a different story. <sighs> but I, I, I want to use that line. I'm like, dude, really? This freaking place is going to be gone in 30 hours. You worried about me? But again, you got to understand... He did not want to lose his severance package over me, and I get that, you know. And the other thing is, I don't, you know, people say, oh, I would have told him this, I would have said that. Like, in all the situations where, you know, like on a Caesar's property, they asked me to stop or whatever, you know, I would have said this, you should have told him that. I was like, yeah, I'd like to see you do it. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Because you got to understand about these properties. 
they they are run and treated like um, they're like sovereign. They're like sovereign, like uh, like Indian reservations and stuff like that. Oh, look at the Hard Rock sign and shit over there. See that? Boom. That's the Neon Museum. The bone yard. Man, shit down. Let me let me keep that at that jaunty angle so you can see stuff. I gotta flip on my electronic rearview mirror on my dashboard so I can see behind me. Bonk. There we go. You know, they're they're sovereign. There's nothing you can do. Even if you're in the right about something, there's literally nothing that you can do. You you have no rights. You have no defense. The Metro will 100% stand behind them in every single instance. It doesn't matter what it is. If they get a call... You know, they will always side with the property here in Las Vegas. It's almost their job to side with the property. If the property says, he, did, you know, he took off his clothes and went streaking around the casino, they wouldn't even come up to you and say, come on, you did that? Come on, bro, seriously? They, they wouldn't even bother. And you'd say, no, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. Look in the tapes, look in the tapes. Trust me, I would never do something like that. They, they wouldn't, the, the machines didn't work. Sorry, there was no recordings of that. So, you know, we have to take their word for it. The, it's a no, 100% no-win situation. Like, you would think that you could say, all right, this is some bullshit. I'm calling the cops, <laughs> you know, because how I'm being treated here or what you're saying to me is X, Y, and Z. Nope. Nope, that, that will actually make the situation worse because Metro, by default, will almost always, well, I wouldn't say almost, I'm, I'm hedging it <laughs> for the lawyers, side with the properties. So you win. You could be dead right. You are not going to win. Not going to win. And the city will back them up, you know, on top of that with some statute. And on top of that, supposing for an instance, let's, let's check out the old, old Vegas over here real quick. Let's suppose for an instance of an instance that you were right, that you, you know, somehow you had your civil rights or your human rights or whatever violated, you know, by a property. You will not get a lawyer in the entire country, in the entire country, to fight or to defend you. They will just be like, nope, we ain't doing it. <laughs> it ain't gonna happen. They just will not defend a case. They will not take a case that is against a property. Not a slip and fall, nothing, nothing. On a rare, 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 the world famous, they do have world famous prime rib at Jerry's. I don't know if they still do. The place looks freaking closed. Palomino. Oh man, I got Polaroids from Palomino of these chicks with like these 42 Triple H's and shit that used to come to town, but used to have to do Polaroids. Yeah, I did it. Ain't gonna lie. Um. Yeah, unless you can really, really afford a high-powered attorney like freaking O.J. Simpson or whatever, you are just screwed, blued, and freaking tattooed because they just will not take the case. Not a freaking chance. So, like I said, it's like being in a foreign country. You might as well be, be in Guatemala. You might as well be in... I don't know, what's the most obscure, Angola, you know, you'd have more rights in Angola as a foreigner than you do in a property, so no, you don't, you just say, yep, <laughs> no problem, you know, bada bing, bada boom, they got all the facial recognition software, everything, 
You know, why do you think they approach so quick? <laughs> They're just like, you know, the, it spits out a ticket, like on in the back cave. <laughs> you know, they pull out the ticket and they're like, oh, Bro Frederick's here. Oh, so and so's here. Oh, this one's here. That one's here. I mean, I know about this stuff. So when people tell me, you know, well, what I would have done, I would have told him, <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, he would have been in for a big surprise had you said that. I would have told him to go fuck himself because you're bringing the little They don't care. They don't care about, you know, influencers bringing anyone in. I mean, there might be like two or three in town that they remotely care about a little bit until they get on their bad side. That was Lake Mead we drove down, by the way. What are they building over here? It's Felice already. They didn't even built it trying to sell it. This is like pretty sketch old. This is like old North Las Vegas. And the price here for gas, four seventy five. You do not want to end up in a hospital like this. The North Vista Hospital. Just no. <laughs> it's like the goodwill of hospitals. Just saying. Oh, I gotta read that message. All the way. Wow. We actually had someone all the way from the People's Republic. Dang. Did everyone send over their credit card information? Oh, a fine Chipotle, fine eating. Oh, they got mail soup all the way. Get the F out of here. <laughs> <laughs> No way, they got an El Super. That's my favorite store. But people ask me if I could do live streams. I would love to do a live stream in an El Super Duper. But they play their mariachi music so loud. So loud. Like my ears are bleeding loud. That it's just not feasible. But they got the most affordable produce and and meat in town. I bought the uh, that's a cool fro right there. What up? <laughs> I haven't seen one of them in a long time like that. Looks pretty boss, that young man. Um, what did I buy? I bought these giant packs of freaking. Uh, you know, not center cut pork chops, but pork chops nonetheless. You know, I had some of the dark meat on and whatnot. You know, it was a buck frickin' 27. I mean, granted, five years ago, that was like 69 cents, but still. Bought like 10 of them. Where I buy chicken thighs, these like Tyrannosaurus size, full of freaking hormones ones. Supposedly not, but I don't know how chickens get that big. Look like freaking pterodactyls. Go ahead, bro. For 89 cents a pound, and they're not filled with that like quote unquote 15% solution. You know, that all the other stores fill them with. AKA sodium and all sorts of other crap. Granted, it makes, you know, the chicken idiot proof. You could almost not overcook it when they pack it with that shit. But it's still chemicals. Any way you cut it. Wow, this is interesting. I would not come on this side of town and go to El Super, but if I happen to be here, 
Now I know. What else we got up in here? In the Dita spot. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. A ball. I would have told that security guard to meet me outside and we'd throw down. Yeah, alright. <laughs> Security guard to be like, all right, bro, right out front. If I'm not there, start without me. Freaking Metro will be waiting for you. I'm gonna let this person cross the street. You're welcome. Do I see a super chat? Maria with the five banana ramas for the gas. Remember the system, yeah. <laughs> I've never lasted in there more than five minutes when I was getting asked to stop what I'm doing. Because they never needed, you know, they didn't need any exposure. They had that all under control. <laughs> I think, I think the whole thing, I mean, they should have knocked that place down today. It would have been the ultimate uh, April Fool's joke. Because just because they're knocking it down doesn't mean anything that the A's are ever going to be there. They just knocked it down because it's a shithole. This property is worth millions. That place is probably not making any money. And Maria kicking off the super chat. We sell flowers. I don't need any flowers. Can I see your papers? That'd be funny if I asked him to see his papers. I don't think you're allowed to do that though anymore. Yeah, Air Force Base is, if I turned around, that is in such a bad neighborhood. Millis Air Force Base, that area is bad. It's probably the worst area in town, but it's not like they're worried about it. <laughs> I think they, what is this asshole doing? You are a supreme asshole. Yeah, I think they could defend themselves if they wanted to. <laughs> oh, it's a Goodwill. I bet there's some great stuff over here. Where are we? I don't even know. I thought we were on, uh... Are we on Boulder Highway or some such shit? Let's see a sign. We're on Lake Mead. I do not want to be on Lake Mead. We are definitely going in a bad direction. Yeah, no, we got, we got a... We gotta hang a Yule Brenner somewhere around here. I I thought I was turning on to to the to Las Vegas Boulevard, but I was all caught up in a story. Yeah, like me. That, <laughs> anything that says east in this town is generally not good. Let's put it that way. Went up to a thousand dollars. In slot play at the Bighorn Casino. Oh, what? All right, you and Brenna come in. Come on, bro. Doesn't the sky look beautiful down here? Clouds haven't made it. I mean, we are way east. That's like the edge of freaking town. Come on, bro. But, I mean, granted, it's another few miles surplus. Oh, MREs, dog tags. Boots. I gotta go check that place out. Mental note taken. A freaking army surplus spot. Hmm. Oh, no way. Beauty salon. Ladies. $4.99 for a haircut. Right there. You're all set. $4.99. Oh, do you need immigration help? Right here? 
what else we got? Need used tires right here. <clears throat> yeah, I was supposed to turn. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere around here, I was definitely supposed to turn. Imagine having a business where you had to put that gate up front. What is this? Aquí estamos. Something like that. This dude fixes computers. Cool. some freaking dentures made over here. You can have a haircut, a $10 freaking exam to get dentures. Yeah, you know, got everything over here. Denny's? Got Super? Ace Hardware? You got everything. It's a freaking wonderful neighborhood. Oh, but they do have La Bonita. La Bonita, we could run in there and get some ceviche. Some shark ceviche. I'm kind of fond of shark ceviche. Me personally. Alright, now where's. Oh, Dunkin' Donuts. No way. Like every one of these businesses is empty, except for this little shitty hospital over here. Is this a boulevard? I think so. I have like no sense of direction over here. I have no sense of direction in the west. Like you stick me anywhere on the east coast, my internal compass is on freaking point. But you put me anywhere west of the Mississippi and there's some magnetical thing going on that throws off my internal compass. It's a, it's a freaking weird phenomenon. I'm guessing this might be it, but either way we're going. Because there's no way I can get out of it now. Trapped. What is this? Oh, I was right. No shit. I should just play off the stuff like I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> that brought Frederick really knows his way around town. Yeah, hell I do. That's a bitch in Peterbilt. <laughs> Man, we're getting a few people on here. I got an East Coast compass. Yeah, I could, I mean, sometimes they spin me around five times. It takes me a while to figure out north, south, east, and west when I'm west of the Mississippi. Anywhere east of the Mississippi, shit, you'd be like stone drunk and half asleep. I can tell you, yeah, it's north of the fog. Don't know why. G U N S. The Palomino. Oh, we were on the boulevard. <laughs> Duh. I was telling Palomino stories. I don't know if I still, I probably still have those Polaroids somewhere. Got to take them up. I think it was back in the, like on a trip I took out here on the nineties or something. It was a name like God Chesty Moore. <laughs> that, that's back when those you know those giant uh, you know those giant women used to giant, top heavy women. Um, used to like tour the country like they were rock stars and whatnot. Friday night, come meet Jesse Moore. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I think those are the only pictures I've paid for my whole life. It's like it's, you know, <laughs> kind of freak showish. How to do it. Is 
does does this car in front of me even remotely look like a Jaguar? Like on any level, on any planet, not even. But it's an S type. It's got all the sensors on it. It's got the the rear lights from a Hyundai or something. And a lot of people got married at the Tropicana. I mean, it holds a certain, you know, place in people's hearts, minds, and history. Just not mine, you know. And they treat me bad, so they've always treated me bad. So I've never really, uh, I've always associated that place with my ass. <laughs> Couple drops, uh, oh, is that some guy just spit? So I thought I saw a couple pieces of rain just hit, but I think some guy, guy just spit. That's kind of interesting. <clears throat> However, I did hear about some dude getting kicked, like literally kicked out of a uh, resort is just losing money by the freaking truckload and from what I heard again cannot confirm he was 86 from the property which means he can't come back and escorted off and whatever you know for talking about their financials but then I heard on somewhere else that um wasn't, when he was on the property, he wasn't talking about it, you know, he talked about how, you know, like they, supposedly, according to this dude, they're like fudging the numbers for the shareholders or something, that they're, that, that was a huge accusation, if that's the case, if that's true what he was saying, not true what he was saying, if it's true that that's what he said, um, that's a pretty bold accusation. And supposedly he went on the property to, you know, eat breakfast or some shit. And they were just like, we know who you are. And they escorted him off. And I don't know what the heck that was all about. But accusing them of fudging numbers, you know, that's, uh, that's a pretty big deal. I don't know what that was about. Tom with the 10 banana nuts. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right, at least I got my gas covered now. That ain't bad. I'm 
that's talking about. The oyster bunny? It's an oyster bunny. That's what we're going to talk about raw and uncensored tomorrow. You know? The demolition of Easter. And a couple other things we need to talk about. But yeah. on 4G which is super freaking odd I won't even switch it on 5G but oh, sorry I had a burp I just resent having to pay for it if it's if I can't use it but that's all 5G is it's layered 4G 5G in this country is a big old scam this is bonded 4G. What is this? The office. What am I going to have for dinner tonight? I got to look like a super hipster. <laughs> King of all hipsters. Some beautiful avocados from El Super. I think I'm gonna make some. I don't know. I, think, I don't know. Hmm. Some tacos. Some guacamole. Something. Freaking hungry. <laughs> I got a ton of shit to do. Uh, that's not gonna eat. Ken with the five banana ramas. What up? Thank you very much. I appreciate that. He called them oyster bunnies. Yeah. That's a problem with clones, you know. They they mess words up very easy. I'll let that marinate for a second. Stay up. Whoa, this looks bad over here. Wow, this is literally people passed out on the street, like Kensington, Philadelphia, whatever. Wow. The guy with the that big dog don't even want to walk over there. This guy's picking up some ladies. What up? Oh, this looks fancy. The bungalow hostel. The talk of the town. Oh, that's an adult. Nah, it's shit's closed. An adult bookstore. Books. trying but like every other downtown in America ours is no different Dino's Dino's Bar and Grill and if the boys want to fight you better let them <laughs> if you get that reference oh my god this one there's someone over, did you see that? There's someone over there on, down on all fours, barking. 
that is Oki that we came down before. Yeah, so this this got sketchier. Remember we used to walk down here all the time? I don't know if I would do that again. I mean it was kind of sketchy back then, but it looks like it's got it's like extra sketch. See, I won't even go through a, a, a yellow light like that. <laughs> That's me. I know, you know. I I want to be a while. I won't even do that. It's like, nope. And people behind me get mad. Like, oh, you have plenty of time. Yeah, plenty of time to what? <laughs> yeah, they identified as a dog. Yeah, I know. I mean, it was kind of off to this side. You know, because I have it tilted at a jaunty angle instead of straight ahead. Do you like that angle? Kind of dig it. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I wonder what. I did Top Golf over. You know, I did our Top Golf. I don't know about this atomic one. I can't swing anymore. This guy bugging. You're bugging, bro. The top top golf is all right. Atomic golf. I just don't like hitting golf balls off those upper. Well, it's it's fun, but it's also misleading. You're like you know a hundred feet off the ground, and you can hit a nine iron like two hundred and forty yards. <laughs> Because <laughs> you're already at altitude, you know, so it's not quite the same. And people are like, damn, can I can I look how far I could drive? Yeah, well, try that at ground level. You're 190. Yeah, elevated 100 feet. Yeah, you got the 278 drive. It's still fun. I mean, something has to bring people into this side. But I gotta further research that story about what happened. Nah, what do I even care? But the person who got thrown out of Resorts World, I don't really even care. No, check that. <laughs> and nix that. I don't care. Because I don't even go over there anymore. That place is like... They went from $10 to $18 for parking. You know, that that's kind of, that's shitty. If you get that card, it's for free, but still. What's the point? I saw so many casino memes. You know, like, uh, MGM is getting rid of all their 6-5 blackjack tables, and, uh, eliminating parking fees from now on. And there's another one, Caesars Palace announces no more resort fees. Like, everyone was getting... Even Circa, which, you know, ugh, Circa, whatever. Um, they put that they're now 31 and over, not 21 and over. Like, the casinos themselves are getting in on it, on the whole freaking April Fool's thing. But to me, like I said... Every day, <laughs> every day is April Fool's now, so I couldn't even come up with a good one, because you probably believe it. 
was this guy? Marksman Security. Oh, yeah. The compression you get off a baseball bat and a golf ball. <sighs> Nothing quite like hitting a sweet spot on an iron with a golf ball. You just don't feel anything. And it just goes forever. That's one of the nicest feelings. Hit a shitty shot, if you feel it, you know it translates up the shaft into your hands. It's like, you dummy. No, I'm not gonna sit in this traffic. This is some bullshit right here. Do -do 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 -do. Vegas is right in front of us. I tried working out some type of deal with them. And they were just like, yeah, we'll give you a discount if you do a video. I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, how generous. I don't have time for half-assery in my life. You either do it or you don't. It's so beautiful, though. It's exactly 69 degrees right now. Super pleasant. <clears throat> so when do they close Tropicana? Tomorrow. I think they close right after the last person is out. I wonder if anyone's going to try to hide inside. That would be That would be an interesting thing. And, like, video it. Like, what if a YouTuber did that? Not me. Imagine that. Because I'm sure there's places you could hide in there. You know, and just bring some food and whatnot. And just live in there for a month. Until they knock it down. <laughs> Whatever. That would be a trip if someone did that. I mean, yeah, they'd probably go to jail. But they'd probably make a lot of money off that video. Just saying. So I got four commercials in all today. That wasn't terrible. I hit some golf balls at Angel Stadium. That sounds pretty cool. Wish I could play golf. Again, that was a little respite. I enjoyed that. You only got three? That does good. Got about eight. Uh, that's rough. 
people were telling me, um, and I confirmed a lot of this shit. Again, not gonna go through it. <laughs> Waited all that time just to move forward. I guess this light is poorly timed. Uh, what are they saying? That they have a YT premium and they still get ads. And then they, they got a, they have a whole bunch of new, um, how would I say, people. I can't tell you who they are over at YT, or what they are for that matter. Um, and they've been, they're incorporating some changes, <laughs> let me tell you. And one of them was like, well, you know, premium really... Uh, it's not really all about not having commercials. It's the other benefits that you get from it. So, you know, on occasion, we might be putting some ads in. Either. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, because they know people probably won't cancel. You know, so what they're doing is they're going to put like a tier above this one. You know, we're really focused on bringing, uh, you know, a TV experience to our users, you know, like, Prime does. Well, they are like pimps for like every other streaming service. And that's what YT wants to do. So they say the people who just have the basic package and are supposed to eliminate ads are going to start getting ads. That was in one of the releases they gave to us creators. Yikes. So a lot of people are going to be pretty disappointed about that. The only thing I would like to, to blast over here at the battlefield is uh, an MG42. That must be expensive. What is that, like a RDs per minute? That's money. That would be fun. Anyway, right, finally, what was that, friggin' 10 minutes? Could have been down by the Tropicana by now. I've never sat there for that amount of time, that was kind of ridiculous. Alright, let me put this forward. Supposedly, 45's, uh gonna sell that, and everyone's like, oh, he's gonna sell that to pay legal costs, no, hardly, <laughs> if you know anything, but, you know, whatever makes it tick, oh, look at the, that's one of, uh, the fleet vehicles from RW, that gaudy orange Rolls Royce, Alright people, so I'm going to get a going. What do we got? Yeah, it's like barely 100 people. So I think I'm going to check. And yeah, Trump is, the Trump Tower is beautiful. And so I did a whole video on it. It's gorgeous in there. And they don't feel like, uh, they don't feel like suites per se. Each one of them set up like an apartment. Because that was the original concept. They were all supposed to be for sale. So they're more like condominium than they are, you know, hotel rooms. I think that's the beauty of it. And you get treated like, you get treated like the color on the outside, gold. At least I do. <laughs> nah, everyone does. What is that? Larry, the life and times of Larry Flint. Now playing at the Love Boutique. Yeah, I think I'll have to miss that one. Alright, people. I appreciate you hanging out as we look at that gaudy-ass Rolls Royce. And I appreciate the Super Chat activities. Let me shout those out. 
Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Ken. And like I said, tomorrow I got a live stream cooking over on my own network, abrofrederick.com. Going live like three o'clock. I already sent out. I think it's it, yeah, it's on the calendar. Go look, you know, on your calendars, and, do, 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 and I'll do something tomorrow night. We'll find something fun to do. Let me get past this jackass who's pacing me over here. Blah. See you. I gotta go back to the west side. I have enough east side. <laughs> gotta see some west side. So I appreciate you hanging out. And I'm gonna invite you one last time to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell button to get notified when I do this again. Which is usually five times a week and if you're on a sports channel. Uh, click on any of the links in the description below if you want to support me. Go check out my website, heybrofrederick.com. And on that note, Bro Frederick out. <laughs>